Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore, and rate music from Bandcamp. Today we're going to take a look at Chicano Batman's newest album, which is called Freedom is Free. So that is coming up. So earlier on on my channel, I released a couple of videos where I reviewed the two singles uh, that are off of this album. So if you haven't checked that out, you can click up here. For you guys who have already watched those videos, you probably already know what I think about those songs, just to put it out there. I think these songs are very mediocre, I think they're actually leaning more towards the bad side of stuff, and, um, but you know, I have to say that I found something unique about Chicano Batman. They put out a very unique style, but at least on these singles they didn't cater that much to my ears. There was just something about this their, their sound that really didn't... I, I didn't get it. Anyways, I like to keep my mind open about music. Sometimes you listen to music initially for the first few times and you kind of don't like it, but after a while you get used to the sound and you start to like it more and more. And this is what I hope will happen for me with Chicano Batman, okay? So that is the main reason why I'm doing this review in the first place. So Freedom is Free is a full-length album consisting of 12 tracks. It takes in on a total run, th run th time of 39 minutes. I want to start by talking about the songs that really catered to me, first of all. Uh, so, for example, song number four is called Freedom is Free, as the album is also called. I really have to say that this was the song that really started to open my ears to Chicano Batman. I really love the bass line here, this plucky bass. I also love the subtle uh, progression between the verse and the chorus. It is very subtle, it is not very dynamic. And that was something I found to be very intriguing because in some of the other songs of Chicano Batman, they changed the rhythm, they changed the uh, inspirations in terms of the genres very prominently. And that was completely different in this song. The melody and the cadence of the song is very bouncy. And I think this bounciness and just the simplicity of the melody in general makes this song very cohesive. I really like this one. So yeah, a good track, Freedom is Free, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Another song that really also caught my attention was track number 9, uh, right off the back. The introduction to this song is intense, but it is intense in a very mellow way. I don't know how to explain it. And then it kind of transcends, transcends, in fact. It transcends into this synth and guitar duo. I love the crunchy guitar solo in the middle of the song. This really brings a lot of uh, dynamic variety to the song. Uh, yeah, I, I just loved how they added that in there. After this guitar solo, the band kind of jams together and yeah, this is another song that also is very cohesive in my ears. Yet again, they have this jazz, funk, psychedelic um, mix, mishmash, I would say. That is also very original, and now, in this format, it really, really came through to me. So yeah, I'm gonna give this song a 7 out of 10. So yeah, I think we'll jump over to the songs that I really didn't like at all from this album, and the first one that comes to my mind is called Run. This is a track that is changing a lot. And uh, at this point, you know, throughout the album, they're continuously using this synth which has this, it has a very specific sound to it. And at this point, this is track number 10, and they've been using this synth over and over and over again, and I'm so dead tired of listening to it. Here and there, they're changing the tempo just to add some friction to the song, and they have these backing vocals. It is very rich in terms of the, the things that are happening, you know, the instruments and the way that the instruments are, are uh, played that is very rich in terms of the variety but it doesn't feel cohesive it doesn't feel like this is a good song <laughs> i remember listening to one of their um interviews that they did on bandcamp and one of the things that the vocalist told us what that was that they had included these backing vocals and he was really bragging a lot about yeah you know it adds a lot more to the song and to the album these backing vocals but i don't really feel that way 
do they really? I mean, focus more on creating a cohesive melody, something that you can snap your fingers to, something that is a bit more repetitive and not so goddamn changing. It sounds like they really, really tried hard to mix these genres of tropical and uh, psychedelic rock. It just feels very forced. I don't know, maybe they didn't force it, maybe it just happened. At the end of the day, it doesn't really feel cohesive to me, so I'm gonna give this track a 3 out of 10, okay? I think the biggest problem that I have with uh, Chicano Batman is that they're so versatile, you know? They create these songs that changes in tempo, almost to the extent that it feels like I'm listening to a prog rock band, then they're also leaning more towards jazz in some of the songs, and they're also leaning towards uh, funk and this Spanish um, tropical sound. It bounces too much back and forth, and it doesn't feel like they have a recipe, a concentrated uh, outlet to it all. It, it feels quite random, to be honest. Some of the songs are sung in Spanish, other are in English, uh, other songs are instrumental, and it becomes very, very widespread. I think the turning point when I realized that Chicano Batman wasn't the band for me, that was when I listened to La Jura, which is the sixth track. And uh, I listened to it, and I just listened to it with this intuitive um, perspective. I just listened to it, and I didn't really pay that much attention to the music. And then I was like, okay... Ah, oh, okay, the song ended. Replay, and I replayed the song in order to find out whether there was actually something to say about the song, whether there was actually an impulse within me that would come out and say, hey, that is cool, or that is nice, or that is something I've never heard before. But I didn't get that impulse because, I don't know, at that point it felt like I had heard everything that they could create. The mood of the song is very striving, but at the same time, it's sad. I don't know. Um, not the band for me, not at all. I'm gonna give La Jura a 4 out of 10. Although I didn't get that much into the song, I would say that, you know, quality-wise, musically, I know that this band has potential, and that is the reason why I don't give it any worse than a 4 out of 10. For example, on most of the songs on this album, I wouldn't give less than 4 out of 10, because I know that there's quality, I know that there's potential here, I can listen to this and actually say, hey, there is something going on here, but I'm not catching up to it. Here and there on the album, there are these glimpses of really amazing songs. For example, I almost forgot to mention that there is a third song that I also loved a lot, which is called The Taker Song. This is the 11th track. The lyrics in particular are very interesting here. It almost sounds like the uh, vocalists are trying to give us a bio biological history class or something. In terms of the overall sound, it also sounds a lot different from all of the other tracks. So yeah, that is the reason why I'm still kind of positive, but in the moment right here and now, I can't say that I'm positive. I have very, very mixed feelings about this album. I was leaning towards a 5 in terms of the rating, but I don't know. I'm not going to look very much more into this album except for those few songs that I liked, and that is a big downer. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. All right, so that was it for today's review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys would review and what you would rate Freedom is Free down in the comments below, all right? Would you give it a 4, 5, 7, 10 out of 10? Let me know. Also, if you like to share, explore, and rate new music from Bandcamp, I highly suggest you click that red subscribe button below and turn on the notifications. In that way, you'll always find my new videos when they come out. So uh, yeah, great way to explore new music. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope to see you later. Bye. Consisting of 12 tracks, it takes in on a total run, run time of 39 minutes. Added that in there. Two tracks that I really liked a lot about the song, so shall we go on to the mediocre and the bad songs, or I don't know. At the same time, it's sad.